Hello everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from sound for more It's Leo speaking. Today we have uh, audio thing textures to show you. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. As you can see, audio texture, it's uh, an a UV free effect. It's something between a granular engine and also a reverb um, engine. And um, the UI, as you can see, is very, very straightforward. First of all, starting from the top, you have access to factory and user presets. Not many, but after all, it is actually quite a simple to use uh, um, effect with a lot of potential, I should say. Usually you have here the um, arrows up and down to move between presets. Then you can save the preset, delete the preset, you can randomize parameters, and then you can lock parameters. You click here, and then you lock any of the parameters that you want to have locked when you change the presets, of course. You can enable and disable it here. It acts as a bypass, and then here you have an hamburger menu where you can lock all the parameters, unlock them all, and then you can do copy and paste to the clipboard of a current preset. You have access to the online menu and then a simple about which i just showed you um, at the start of the tutorial let's have a look at the interface itself in the middle of the screen so you have here um, a meter which is quite useful in case it starts to clip and that will happen depending depending on different audio input of course you have a mix dry wet effect here this dial here allows you to change between the reverb balance and the grains balance. Then here you can change the pitch of the grains, plus 12 semitones or minus 12 semitones. So up an octave or below an octave. You can boost here the uh, both effects, granular and reverb, when you have it active. And then of course you can activate the side or have it on mid the mid is the mid channel the side sorry the mid channel which contains left and right channel and the side is the difference between the left and right channel and of course when you have the difference what you have left is a wider sound at the edges okay so let's start um enabling the um uh, effect but before doing that let me show you that i have a vast array of uh, uh, audio sources to test for you. The first one is a pure piano. Okay, nice and simple. So let's activate the um, the effect and let's open it up. Let's go to uh, the any preset and let's play a little bit with it. At the moment, the dry effect or the mix is up to maximum, but we can change that. Down to zero where you have practically only the pure piano going through. And you can see the meter moving up there, which is really nice. You can change between reverb and grains at the moment it is split between the two. So let's try only reverb. Grains. Let's increase the uh, grains in terms of pitch plus 12 semitones. Or lower okay perfect now when we activate the side the grains ng will work only on the side that's really interesting while the reverb effect will continue actually to operate as normal so hopefully you can hear if you have headphones that the grains are only on the outsider edge of left and right channel and now normal Hopefully you can hear that you have a wider effect like this. And of course, um, the diffusion will help you to boost uh, both effects. Yeah, you can hear that difference. Now, let's try some presets. Let's try this deeper. Nice effect, it works really nicely because you have the pitch here which is lower then you have more presence on the grains here. Okay, let's try this distant chant. 
As you can see, there's more reverb here. Really nice. You have that nice little bit of grain towards the top because the pitch is really high. And of course, diffusion is on, so you have that boost on. Let's try just reverb. Odyssey, and a little bit of grains here, more grains. The side is on. Really nice. Quantum. A type of shimmery effect. And then some sip. And washing grains. And you will hear that washing grains, how it changes when we actually move to different presets or different audio source, I should say. So let's uh, deactivate uh, uh, the pure piano. Okay, we mute it. And now let's uh, unmute the uh, hammerhead. And let's mute this file player here. So let's the open up uh, texture, bypass it. Nice. Now, you need to be quite careful when you have actually um, Amberhead playing a rhythm. Let's try. As you can see, it is quite nice to create um, um, that ambient um, sound, but you can also use it to create a little bit of a, a drone effect on uh, uh, your, uh, of course, backing track, for example. That's uh, great. Let's try something different. Let's uh, uh, mute uh, Hammerhead and let's unmute Pippa. Really nice. Okay. So. Really nice, this distant chant with a vocal effect. Let's go for this deeper. Really nice, it gets really, really deep. Let's try these washing grains. Just a reverb. Quantum. Okay, let's deactivate uh, bypass now texture. Let's uh, mute uh, pipa and unmute uh, steel guitar. And uh, let's uh, decrease the volume. Okay, perfect. And now let's activate uh, texture. Deeper. Let's try these washing grains. Okay, really interesting. Now let's change, let's mute uh, um, steel guitar and unmute Eisen from Arturia. So we have that nice part, right? So let's um, 
activate uh, um, texture and let's play something. Let's hear the difference without texture. difference when it is on. Let's try washing grains. Again, a great difference. Okay, let's mute ISM from Arturia and let's unmute Copperhead from Four Pockets. So and let's try this. We have an elite. Let's turn it. Let's turn on uh, texture. Let's try this deeper. Really nice. Absolutely really, really nice. Okay, um, let's actually try this file player, which I moved by accident earlier on. So uh, let's mute copyright and um, Let's open texture, it's bypass, let's play the uh, through the file player. Okay, perfect. Let's try now with uh, texture. nice how it is transforming some of the drums in that backing track um, or that small um, sample file. Again, it's producing something interesting with these washing grains. And that is because of grains is the engine is more on the grains and you had the pitch very low and then the grains only on the side um, of the spectrum. So of the channels. So that is why it sounded a little bit like that more soundscape or ambience type of sound. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to stop here. Please do remember that there might be a giveaway. Um, so do please check the video description and indeed uh, find the inst instruction, follow them. If the giveaway is still open and you find out if it is open, if the winners have not been announced yet. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.